of you guys have been asking me why did I do my own podcast and I'm gonna let you guys on it's a game so 2018 I graduated from college but before I graduated from college I've been trying to get in contact with people and stuff like that and you know like nothing was going on nothing was helping nothing when no one was helping out everyone was just talking a good talk but no one was trying to really help me out I was like granted let me just do what I have to do for myself because at the end of the day, I need to be securing myself for the future. You know, I need to get myself ready and all that. So, before I graduated, uh, before I graduated college, I got in contact with somebody, with my, um, not somebody, with one of my high school friends, and I was telling her, like, you know, like, where do you go to record? And she told me where she goes. So I was like, all right, cool, grand, I'm gonna do that, this, that, and the third. I did, I did that mostly for myself and I wanted to be okay securing my own bag and stuff like that in the future. But then again, it taught my, it all, the reason why I pushed myself to do my own podcast was the fact that I wanted to be ready and prepared. What I mean by ready and prepared, I wanted people to be like, all right, so no one hired her. Let me see what she was doing when no one was hiring her. You know what I mean? Like when no one was paying her any attention, let me see what she was really doing. So, I'm over here doing videos. No, I did audio first and I was thinking about, all right, let me just do videos. Videos would mostly put a face, the voice to the face, or the face to the voice, one of them words. I don't know, I'm tired right now. It will put the image to the to the voice. Like, who's that talking? Let me see who that is, you know? Um, Yeah, like, I just did it for more experience, the le to learn more. And what pushed me the most to do is because like I this is like what I really love to do I love being on radio I love I used to do radio for like a little bit in LIU but it wasn't like a whole long segment thing but it's just like the being in the studio when I like the radio when I on air it just brings joy to me um I also love television as well so that's gonna be the future but right now it's mainly focusing on getting my um everything with, with radio with podcasts out the way you know like I'm just really focusing on that podcast is something that's honestly I'm seeing a growth in podcasts more so now you know everyone is doing it more so now I'm not gonna be like yo I was the first to put everyone on like nah but like when I was when it was like my the my the high school friend that referred to me and myself who was doing it it wasn't a lot of you didn't hear about podcasts you had to really explain what podcast was you know what I mean so I love the buzz. I love the fact that like it's it's getting recognition, it's it's popping and stuff like that. But and it's not even a job. It's not a job. It becomes stressful when the only time I was I found stress out of it is was when I was it's in the beginning stages. The beginning stages when you don't know what's going on and you're just going head first. I had no one to fall back to, no one to like literally help me. So it was just like all right, I was thrown out there and it was just like all right, fend for yourself. You know what I mean? You learn, you grow, you do mistakes, but it's cool. Like, this is what it is. It's life, you know? You see, anything that's difficult with podcast. Podcast is not difficult, but you need to create your audience. You need to know who's your audience. If you know your audience, then it's going to be okay. Yeah, put this over here. If you know your audience, it's like you know what they like, then you go towards it. You know? People, it's like you find an a artist you know how the music they play so you stick to them because that's that that's my that's my type of time you know that's my vibe that's my energy right there so that's how it is a podcast podcast you have to create your audience stick with that audience stick with that pattern stick with the path and then you're gonna be good with everything you know why did i choose to do it on youtube was to have people like seeing it like that's the whole point of youtube youtube is some uh, a platform where you can literally express yourself and you be recognized for it you want to be recognized from someone who's already out there you get what i mean and they should just start coming to you it's like you've been going to them you throw your stuff on youtube and they gonna start coming to you like oh let me see what she got going on let me kick on her baby rosarina what's going on what's the tea what's the word that's why i do youtube do i think i would want to do this for the rest of my life yeah, I need a break. Okay, no, um, I would want, I don't know, like I probably would do some courses 
about YouTube, I mean not YouTube, about um, podcasts, you know, like the beginning stages and graduating, but then again, that's my perspective and my experience, so I don't know how everyone else's experience will be when they come about trying to be in the industry with podcasts. How long do I want to keep going with Rose Reload for the rest of my life? For the rest of my Rose Reload is already like LLC, honey. It stuck for me for life. Period. Rose Reload is my baby. Like literally, like literally my baby. I birthed this. Okay, this is like hard work, dedication. Like it's me in front of the camera. It's my sister behind the camera. My sister be right. Like this is our baby. Like I can't. You can't turn your back on your baby. Duh. Do I ever see myself relocating out of New York? Um, do I see myself ever relocating out of New York and probably branching out? I don't know. I don't know. Because New York for me and Rose Reload like the hub. You know what I mean? Like that's the that's this is where it is, this is where it's at. But you can always have a studio wherever you go. That's the beauty of having being a podcaster. It's the fact that you can literally have a mic, hook it up do your little one tools upload it and boom you know what i mean that's the beauty of podcast so i could be in new york here yeah, chilling and i could be in miami doing the same thing i could be in cali doing the same thing i could be in texas doing the same thing so it's like yeah i live in new york but i could still be doing my work anywhere else anywhere else that's the beauty of podcast y'all i have summed that up in the biggest thing like why i did it because you can literally plug in on my talk your ish put upload it, and that's it it's like a grab and go that's why I like the podcast a lot. It's like the, the new generation is, is evolving from radio. So it's like grab and go. Um, who inspired me to do a podcast? Who inspired me to do a podcast? My goddamn self. Okay. You just had to start somewhere. That's what you got to do with like, that's what, that's what life is about. Like literally taking a chance. So my podcast is like, I'm literally taking a chance and, it, and it's going to bring me positive vibes. All right. So I hope I, guys, I hope I helped out with anything with podcasts and everything like that. Like, it's a grab and go industry. Grab the mic, whatever you want to do, go and it, it is what it is. But you got to create your audience, create that balance, create, you know, create that balance, create that vibe with your audience. And always interact with your audience. That's very important. Create a live, do whatever you got to do. Yeah, podcasts is dope. If you into that stuff, like media and stuff, podcasts are dope. But guys, I love you guys for listening. I love you guys for tuning in. You know the vibes. You know what it is. It's your girl, Rosemary, and I'm out. Peace.